Meow. Hello everyone and welcome to Marie's room. This is another one of those walking simulator type games where you just explore an area and get a story out of it. It has an extremely good rating on Steam right now. It's a free game that probably contributes to it. But it's free on Steam right now and it has like a 95 or 96% overall rating. And there's close to like a thousand reviews already. So I'm assuming it's pretty good. It's the story of Marie and Kelsey. I believe you play as Kelsey and you visit Marie's room as it was 20 years ago and you kind of get to discover what happened to their friendship is what I read on Steam. So, I'm excited for this. I'm ready for this. I'm, I, I want to feel something, man. <laughs> that's, that's the mood I'm in right now. So, let's see what it's all about. Start up Marie's room. We've played a bunch of really good walking simulator games. Stanley Parable is one of them. Uh, Beginner's I Guide. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? I don't know, man. Where's the journal? Another good one was What Remains of Edith Finch. That was, like, probably one of the best ones I've ever played, honestly. That one was so good. But here we are. Here's the game. Ooh, can I use my controller? Oh, wow, that moves. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can all click here. If I can use my controller, I would appreciate that. So yeah, it looks like I can. Let's try this then. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. I like when they're all voice acted. I love that so much of these types of games. Weather forecast. Oh wow, that's really fancy. This is a nice place. What more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Oh god. Oh, to oh whoa. Okay. Details. More than a hundred, which. I don't know where Orange Grove is, sorry. And then 2042. So, hmm, okay. Look, Mr. Torres, I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. My cat is like meowing at me constantly right now. Daisy? No. <laughs> no entry. Unless you're a tourist from the future. I might be. <laughs> So what's this room, huh? Aww. Welcome back, Kelsey. Okay, it's got an achievement here. 12, 11, 10, 9. You know, they always use these in movies or shows when they're trying to make you feel really sad about somebody dying. <laughs> oh, it's a rat. Bumblebee to kitty. Aww. Marie's journal. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right, Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Yikes. Okay, so now we're back 20 years ago. What did I do? Oh, I kind of want to go back out and explore the house a little bit more before we get into it, but whatever. We're here to check out her room, not her house. Well, let's take a look here. Well, Bumblebee, wait, oh, 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 Bumblebee's cat tree was here 20 years ago. I'm assuming Bumblebee was actually here 20 years ago, too. Oh, it's mixtape. I'm, I'm not, not a shadow person. I keep forgetting yeah. that. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. I keep forgetting that she reads for me. I'm so used to having to read for you guys. I like it. Okay, so let's just keep looking around, man. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she Whoa. didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Wow. Okay. Orange Grove, Texas, huh? I guess that makes more sense with the 100 degrees temperature. All right. So you look pretty important here. Like, I should keep checking you out. But I kind of want to look around the room a little bit because, again, the whole point of these walking simulator type games is to go ahead and soak everything in and really get a good feel for the characters and, you know, attach to them a little bit and kind of 
have a sense of relating with them like you're like you're they were your friend or their situation is something that you're interested in chemistry holds no surprises love that journal updated so whose journal do i have a journal let me press tab here capsule oh, shift no nothing okay she wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff i just wanted to do something simple calculate shit boring is what she said her the weird kid talked boring so yeah we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring okay so I'm getting the vibe that Marie was kind of kind of awkward, I guess. Didn't really fit in. I don't know. For reasons yet to be understood. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. Had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. I'm guessing that's all uh, that was yes. going to say. The science project. I'm pressing buttons to see how to crouch. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Right. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Uh, that's all it was anyway. So there's a control here for crouching, but I don't feel that type of thing on a controller. I don't think this is fully controller enabled, to be honest. Like, very often I'm sitting here like, okay, can't touch that button. But I like playing with a controller, man. Pictures. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Okay. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. <laughs> she got stabbed? Interesting. So, one thing I want to see is if I crouch down, can I start looking at these things? Compared to when I'm up here? Okay, so, a little bit different. A little bit easier to look at things. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. <laughs> I was going to say Jesus. You feel the salt flowing out of you. <laughs> Hated that thing. I hate Rubik's Cubes too. They're apparently so... Okay, you know, you, know, you know how Rubik's Cubes are? Rubik's Cubes are one of those things. It's like the classic internet comment. I'll be here like, oh my god, Rubik's Cubes are so complicated. Which, generally, most people will take a Rubik's Cube and be like, oh god, yeah, I know, they're just hard and I don't get them. But then, Rubik's Cubes, again, are a perfect example of, what are you talking about? They're so easy, god. <laughs> You'll see that in the comments, like, immediately. I know there's supposed to be, like, a pattern to them and all that, but, like, <laughs> classic YouTube comment example. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. Damn I know he blamed Trevor. her for everything. Though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. I need oh. to find the key. A five-figure number. Okay. So, yeah, we need a five-figure number. Uh-oh. I'm slow motion now. What's happening here? Okay. I was crouched, I'm pretty sure. So, five-figure number. We also need to figure out her password. There's a few things for us to kind of start to work our way towards here, but there's just a lot to look at. And we've already learned a bunch about Marie here. Her mom died. I don't know if her dad died soon after with the stab wound that he apparently had. Turn on TV, why not? Have you seen this man? String of burglaries. Have Can't you change? seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Okay. Maybe that's the guy that she was just talking about over there. I thought oh. I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. <laughs> came from the burger joint. Duh. <laughs> I got a feeling that it didn't come from the burger joint, guys. Rip shirt. Trevor. What an asshole. Okay, After so we broke up, he got violent sometimes. Ooh. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Good guy, Ben, huh? 
So Tre okay, so Trevor's the worst. Ben's cool. Dad stabbed. Mom dead. We betrayed Marie somehow. Yeah, Lorraine was the mom. Let's take a look at the world map here. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Oh. Dang. <laughs> that was abrupt and sad. So, again, I have the journal over there, so that'll probably be how we really start pushing things into the story. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. I'm gonna say with the pizza boxes? I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. The stone? What? <laughs> okay. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Oh, okay. Well, I feel pretty explored now, not gonna lie. Open the drawer, maybe? Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother... She might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Okay. PMA. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. <laughs> Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think <laughs> I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. 2018. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Ouch. So, what's the deal with Marie here? Ouch, Kelsey. <laughs> kind of a dick. <laughs> huh. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house not long after we met at food rescue. He was stabbed, almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. Jesus. She was in the hospital for a while, stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. You okay? So what happened? Was it Trevor? It's pretty violent. I love that they said La La Land is in here and it sucked. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so as much as I said I was like ready. <laughs> Ooh, broken window. She was my friend and I had to tell her. So I came back here throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react so I threw a bigger stone and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. Ouch. <laughs> so that's the stone. <laughs> Interesting. Wanted to tell her. Tell her what? There's so many deets hidden in here, man. But we do need to start exploring the journal here eventually. But look, we're getting into the meat and potatoes here. The more I dig a little bit deeper here. Did I even do the ring binder? Oh, yeah, the science project. Whiteboard. Yeah, we did the whiteboard. <coughs> okay. So, thoroughly looking. I'm feeling pretty good about our... Uh-oh. Examination so far. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. That's a whole lot of symbolism and metaphors and oh my goodness. Yikers. I mean, probably in a good way, but still, holy man. Name badge, green eatery card. Did I look at the eatery card? The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Ew. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. Ayurvedic. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking. Because he was out every night. 
cooking his green stuff. <laughs> okay. This game is meant to, I should have said earlier, this game is supposed to be about a little less than an hour long, and it's meant to be played in one go. You're not. There's not even a save file mechanic in this game, so keep that in mind. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. <laughs> yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Oh my god. When you were a kid, did you want to have those shoes that lit up when you walked? <laughs> I wanted those so bad. I wanted them so bad. It would have felt so cool. Oh, and then like the shells that had the, the shells. The shoes that had like the gel in them too. We squish it. Oh my god. Stupid things marketed to kids. I was such a sucker. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Okay. I loved skinny dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Creepy? Creepy? Okay, so. Pillow, I have a dream. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream I plan what I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans <laughs> whoa okay interesting wake me up when I'm famous okay all right orange peels and we're going into the journal okay actually nope backpack orange peels journal disgusting but cheap I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. Ooh, the okay. vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. <laughs> so why was it humiliating? Because she worked there and she could see how not good you were doing? Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. <laughs> Holy man. Okay, well. Journal time. You gonna read it or do I gotta read it? So there's a lot of different things here. Food rescue. A lot of stuff going on in this journal right now. So what if I press A? Does that do anything? What if I click things? Okay. Well, I think it's my turn to read here. So it's 2017. We had a party today celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces. I loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name. But everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me. Is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. Oh my god, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. I don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to see. I can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode from the excitement. Last hope, huh? Okay. Alright. So this goes to last hope too. It doesn't skip to the next one. Okay. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. I, what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to the food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something, so I offered her my sandwich. Oh, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy, and then she walked out. Now we're behind on our project, too. Oh, I hope we make the deadline. <laughs> I like her journal aesthetic. <laughs> Not gonna lie. 
Just stop. Why do you keep writing this shit? There's... I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but, you know. There's... They're never gonna find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Just leave us alone. So I can forget that whole god-awful night. Oh, this must have been when she got stabbed. Okay. Or when her dad got stabbed and she got hit with the bat. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and... I would have punched him, scratched his eye out. I, s I swear, I, I think I could have killed them, but... The other one got me before I knew there was even two. I never saw their faces and neither did my dad, so they never caught them. Hmm. Nothing was different. January 5th, 2018. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right! But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says that she's got nothing to lose, and BAM! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm just too sensitive. I guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna break her neck, by the way. See if I care. Oh, yikes, I guess. Happy birthday, Mom, on the 19th. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He's such a creep. I don't get what he sees in him. What she sees in him. She says I'm jealous as if. The thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. It's too bad that she doesn't believe in herself yet. So I'm guessing, like, you can see these things here. Like the phone. Like, we saw the phone, so I'm guessing that's what made this pop up. We saw La La Land, that's what made this pop up. All these little bits that we've been picking apart in the room. That's why they're showing up in here, right? Right. Heck, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on the classic night at the theater. I went with Ben, and I loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually freaking hugged her. And she pushed me away. Asked me what I was doing. And that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show. And her stupid cheerleader friends. I am alone. Hey, what about Ben? <laughs> like. Nothing was the same. Right, so I still have things to investigate here, huh? Which I do know that because of the of the things I haven't opened yet, right? So maybe there'll be things in here that help me get an idea. <sighs> We're gonna be friends. I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry. I know. But heck! <laughs> I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She does not want to be my friend and she was embarrassed. Heck, heck, heck. <laughs> okay, I've calmed down a bit. That Lala -la night she was with Trevor, and oh, he's such a hecking asshole. <laughs> she's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right. But she did come straight over to tell me that she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with a damn rock. She said that if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to be, or anywhere, anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed. Going over some notes from class. I like having her here. Dad's okay with it. So there's another page here I need to investigate, I'm guessing. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less F words in these pages. I'm so friggin' proud! <laughs> Only when I go berserk. Like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window. And it's a little hard to keep up. Did you know that, as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly? I'm trying to extend my vocabulary here. <laughs> Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute, up to a certain age, but Mom said she hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. I can't tell you how much that hurt, every time, because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. <laughs> he must have rejoiced. <laughs> yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a mad man, mad, mad woman. Must have. <laughs> the effing swear jar. She called me her friend today. 
I'm not a shadow person anymore. She is my friend. Huh. Again, I'll have more to investigate here. Kelsey is so angry at the world. Like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I guess I get it. We all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen and not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs. <laughs> the cards. Kelsey broke up with Trevor, finally. April 11th. She could do much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in school. And of course, no one saw it happen. But he literally tore the clothes from her body. She's done with him now. Things can only get better. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. Oh boy. As if I got her tied up here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared heckless the first time. But, ah, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. I think we have more to get here, but let's do nothing was the same part two. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it yet. It's on the second page. I think I'm supposed to read it in that order, right? Case. I need Okay, I need a five-digit code or something. So we might have to get a little more investigative here. Maybe dig a little deeper. See what might be plainly laying around. Or maybe I have to look a little bit deeper into the journal. I may have just, you know, whizzed right past it and not been paying attention. That's a possibility, too. Ooh, there's keys here. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't unlock anything here. Interesting, though. There's no such thing Ooh. as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Right, yeah, because she got... She was really low on food and funds and all that type of stuff. But the journal was updated. And then, here we go. Got stuff here. Awesome. So. High school kid saves classmates from hunger. After that school article, people kept asking why I did it. As if that was some kind of hero. So stupid. And they keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. My life story so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. He stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined the food rescue to help. There. The end. <laughs> Everyone satisfied? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, found more details. Mr. Torres loved that beer. <laughs> After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Oh. Interesting. What does that, what does that mean? I'm trying to find details here, man. So, maybe I don't want to remember. Okay, so where is it, though? The journal was updated. Was it one of these? We needed this beer, water, and oranges. Like so many nights before. Trevor. No, I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He shall not be named, shall not be named. Not today. Okay, so I'm actually going to read this here. Combination here. Okay, so there's the lock. I did it! Hope I'm not going to regret this, so... That's probably how I unlock something. Gosh, I wish I would have just looked at this page. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed a woman this time. Oh, God. And the police think it was Trevor? I suppose it was him in our house? I, oh, I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big. Kelsey says it isn't true. That, that Trevor's a bastard, but I... He would never commit such violent acts. Look at the torn shirt. She, she might have been denial here. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. So, July 5th, 2018. Ooh, sparkly shoes. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Right. So, we're slowly finding every single little piece of stuff that I need. Certain things are written down that make for interesting bits of dialogue here. And you need the journal to go ahead and advance things. Yeah. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. It's so creepy. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. I'm really curious to see what this, you know, awful thing is that... <clears throat> Well, maybe it's Bumblebee. Let me see here. She must have written it down here. Oh, I'm somewhere. not a shadow person. All right, so we'll get into the container here. Shadow. Uh oh. Shadow person. Not a shadow person. So we're in the computer here. Words of secrecy. I will figure out the the box. Well, let's see what we got in here, man. Oh my god, I gotta see this. Cuteness overload. Oh my god. It's so cute! Look at the play of the iPad! <laughs> okay. So, emails, duh! Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Let's read. Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand that you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anybody. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know if you're ready to talk. You know where to find me. Principal Phillips J. Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. That's creepy as crap. I see you. <laughs> so not a whole lot here other than those two, right? Trevor's such a creepazoid, man. <laughs> what, did you learn? what did you learn from Marie's room? Don't trust people named Trevor. <laughs> ah! Someday, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? <laughs> she said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. <laughs> I don't know if any of that's true. <laughs> but, you know, good for her. <laughs> Liking the cats like that. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days she thought i couldn't hear her at night i could never prove it but i'm sure it was trevor a low blow man i gotta go after the cat marie whoa what were you thinking you know that's illegal yikes Torres Wi-Fi, huh? Details. July 7th, 2018 is where we're at right now. Interesting. Because again, it's 20 years ago-ish. A little more than 20 years ago if I was looking at 2042, but... Well, let's take a peek in here now, huh? Let's see what we all got. So, read these. And these. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll give that one to you. Huh. Hey, this page is all ready to go now. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. <laughs> Last night, the heels dug into my calf. Oh, that freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and I told her, not in the bed. 
She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9. Because they look absolutely gorgeous on Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. <laughs> So what else do we have in here? Right, here we go. Today was a good day. Oh wait, there's like numbers in here. Are you seeing these numbers? There we go. Okay, so today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. and I can handle that. If it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. Oh, God. If he wasn't such a scary-ass clown, I'd laugh, but he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. It took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike because it ain't cool. <laughs> Our rides are the best part of the day now. And on this day, we rode them to Mr. Jones's Orange Grove in a broad daylight. We got a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. Didn't even think about getting caught. I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. They'll never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. I can't sit and watch. I'll have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off of anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone, it's just... I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway. There was this guy who wanted to sell me a totally new 9mm. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere. It's a little shady, I admit, but with Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. Thanks. Okay, well. Let's take a peek here and look at the numbers. Three. Four, nine, five, one. Three, four, nine, five, one. Three, four, nine, five, one. Three, four, nine, five, one. Don't know what that means, but three, four, five, nine, one. Murray, wait. The journal. It must be in the journal. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. <laughs> oh, oh my God. My God. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped. 
because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that, hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we got caught by Mr. Torres, but I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... I what do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. I, 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 I get everything. I got a lot of it. Let me let me see it. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was quite the story. Wow. I feel like I might have missed something on this page. Not gonna lie. But let's look at this. I regret food rescue. I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me. My inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her. It turned out it's all been bullshit. I'm so stupid. I should have realized that at Lala night and walked away for good. Because someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled the trigger. Made a bullet pierce his head. Made his blood soak the carpet. Drip through the cracks of the floor. Where it's going to remain forever. To bear witness to what I'm capable of, I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I, I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. I have to fix me. Away from her, I, I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why, why did she do it? Why, why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A, a killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone, gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they're the truth. I'm stronger than I look and I can do this. I'll go up north to Uncle George as dad suggested it's nice and cool up there and I'll be able to think and I'll finish high school I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages I'm sorry 
Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday when this is all long over and I've dealt with being a murderer. This is Marie's old house then, huh? But seems fairly up to date. So maybe this is like... Hmm. Don't really know how to think. Can I go in the bathroom yet? Don't need to go in there. <laughs> That's the bathroom. See if Marie's down here. That's it, huh? Huh. That was good. So, it kind of seems like they eventually made up and are friends again, huh? <sighs> Man. Why'd she do it? I guess I didn't really catch that part. Like, why did she go and attack them? Or, like, rob them? Why'd she rob them, I guess? Was she just that desperate? Like, I'm guessing that maybe that's how Trevor got his money. He was robbing people. And... Maybe Kelsey tipped him off as to Marie being an easy target or something. I don't know. Like an easy way to get in. I don't, I don't know. Anything at the end here? No. But again, this was Marie's room. Like I said, it's meant to be played in one sitting. There is no save files. It's free on Steam. You can go ahead and play it yourself. Maybe you find something I didn't find. I think I found a lot of the things, to be honest. Maybe there's one or two things that I missed. But I think we definitely got the gist of the story, to say the least. Wow. <laughs> I got really heavy towards the end. It's nice that they made up. She said Aunt Marie, so I'm guessing, again, I'm guessing everything was okay between them in the future. Because, again, it's 20 years uh, is what has passed-ish. Now, it said 2042 when I was in there 2018, so it kind of seems more like, I don't know, 24 years <laughs> since everything had happened. It's crazy, that story that they told at the end, that Trevor was such bad news. But one thing I really like about these walking simulator games is they make you think, they make you feel, they make you explore your emotions a little bit, and get that sense of relating with another point of view, another person, which is really cool. I think it's awesome that games can do that, and I think the story was really well told. This is definitely one of the, definitely one of the better games I've played recently, in terms of storytelling, so I'm glad I got to play it. Pretty cool that it was free, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the story and if there's anything that, you know, resonated with you. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed it. And we stream every single night at 10 p.m. Eastern. So go ahead and follow Twitch in the description down below. Or just follow my Twitter, because I also stream on Mixer sometimes. If you ever want to hang out with me during the middle of the day. Rather than late night. And we can talk about this game, and we can talk about other games, and we can just kind of like explore life, man. Just like this game did. So, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And then I'll see you in the next video that we do.